Hey guys, it's Karen Merrill. Welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to create a landing page for ClickBank. If you don't know what a landing page is, it's where you collect someone's name and email address, and then you're able to follow up with them on your email list with offers for ClickBank products. I'm going to show you a product that I really like to promote. I've made over a thousand dollars profit with this particular ClickBank product. And then if you stick around until the end, I'll show you a way that you can promote this through solo ads. But before we get to that, if you're new to the channel, this channel is about affiliate marketing and how to make money online. I do a lot of product reviews on this channel as well. And if those are topics that you want to learn more about, make sure you click the subscribe button and the bell icon that we can be notified when I upload new videos. With that being said, we are going to go to ClickFunnels to create a landing page for a ClickBank product. And the product that I chose to show you is called Passive Affiliate System. If you just log into your ClickBank account, click on Marketplace, and then just right here, search Passive Affiliate System. This is one of my favorite products to promote because I've used it. It's gotten me some really great results. And I think those are the kind of products that you should sell as ones that you have already purchased and gotten results with because you can, besides making a landing page, you can also do a squeeze page where you have a video and you show the results that you've gotten and then you link to the webinar. So let me show you what we're gonna do. We're going, I'm gonna leave a link in the description below the video to uh, ClickFunnels. You can get a free 14 day trial. And what you do after you get ClickFunnels is you're gonna log in and you across the top here where it says ClickFunnels, scroll down and you're gonna click on Funnels. And we're going to create a new funnel. I actually did one here, but you would click on Add New and then that's just going to take you to this page right here where you can edit. So it'll, it'll pull up the opt-in page and then it'll have your template here and you'll just click on edit. But I've already done it, so I'm going to show you what I came up with as far as a landing page for this particular product. What, the one I would recommend that you choose is called clean so you just scroll down you can use of course any of these templates you can test them out see which ones convert the best but i like the the clean opt-in box because you can just go in here and change that change the the button down here so the what i did this product called passive affiliate system i've done a review on it i'll leave a link in the description below the video but it is to show you how to create a YouTube channel without making videos. It's passive in that you can outsource all of this and be able to make some really good income with YouTube. And I love the webinar. It's really, really great. It's like something that converts very well. But again, I'll leave a link in the description to the, to the review that I did on the actual product so you can see what's in it. But Rather than, this is what the webinar looks like, there's a link to that. If you go in and you click on promote, it'll be the default here. And then you just click on generate hop links. Let's see, generate hop links. And then it'll be this link right here that you use inside of your ClickFunnels. And I'll show you where to put that. But rather than taking this whole thing here, how I make a full-time income with YouTube without making videos. What I did was I took it and I made it say how to make $100 to $300 a day on YouTube without showing your face, no previous experience required. Yes, give me instant access. So in order to create that, you again would click on the clean opt-in and then I'll show you how to change the font and everything. So you can go in and change the font, change the color, everything. So once you pick that clean page, you'll click on edit page. And then if you want to change the color or the font or anything, you just click on the actual box here and then this little cogwheel there you click on that and then all of this comes up over here so you can change 
the text color, the bold, this is the bold over here, and you just click on that. And if I wanted to change it to red, I could do that, but I'm just going to leave it at black looks much better. So again, you could change the size or anything over here. You just scroll down like the font size here. I could make it bigger or smaller here. And if you scroll down, you can see all the other things you can change down here. Then what I would do is change this right here to say, yes, give me instant access. And I just, I made that blue, but of course you can change it to any color you want. I think blue looks better with this. So if you click on that and then settings, that's going to give you your font. This is the color here. If you wanted to change it to green, see if that works better. I'm just going to leave it as, as blue. I don't think red looks good either. So once you change all of that, Click off of that box and then just click on save. And then what we're going to do is connect this. So when someone clicks here, it'll take them to this webinar here. Okay, so you'll get your link, your hop link here by clicking on promote, generate hop links. Copy and paste this right here. You go to settings and then you click on general. And then we're going to put it right in here. Oops, let's see. Click off of that. Go to general. And we're just going to paste it in there. And then click on save. And that's it. Now I'm not going to show you how to connect this to your autoresponder. I have another video on that. So I'll leave that in the description below the video. But basically they're going to go to the, the page here. But they're also going to go into your email list. And you'll have an email list follow-up series for them that will also lead them back to this webinar and then anything that you want to send to them as far as um, follow-up messages but also broadcasts that you can send out and again it's it's best if you get some results with this because then you could put a let's go back here you could put a it's called a squeeze page in here and put that in between the opt-in and the webinar so you can tell about your results with it and then have a, a link below your video that they opt into this this webinar here so that's then when you want to promote this landing page you just copy this right here and i would recommend click magic as a tracker because when you promote this you want to see what's doing the best you don't want to just be um, blindly promoting something and not knowing if it's converting well with that particular traffic source so let's see let me get in here okay so we're going to click on links and then we're going to create a new link so the link name we'll call YouTube Udemy. I want to show you how to promote this in Udemy. So you would put your, your link right there. And then I have a domain name here. You would say, let's go over to Udemy where 
this is solo ads, so people have email lists that you can promote this to, and you just pay for clicks. So if we go over to the home page here, and you click on find sellers, these are some that you can pick from. There's all kinds of solo ad providers in here. This one, this person's really good here. But look at their reviews, and if they've gotten at least three people that have said they've gotten sales, I would go with them. Um, these are some that I've used here. This person's really good, Daniel Hooperts. So in order to, to purchase, you just go here. Let me click on his name. And you'll figure out how many visitors you want. So let's just say you wanted to just test it out with his email list and just do 100 visitors. That would be $57 here. And then you just click on Add to Cart. And then they'll accept your order. You click on Add Text and Add New Link. And again, you want to track Let's, let's say we're going to use Daniel, and today is the 21st, so that would be, oh, 21, create link, and let's find it here. YouTube. YouTube Udemy. So you would take this link right here. This is your tracking link. And you want to have a tracking link because you want to make sure, first of all, they delivered all the clicks that you ordered, but also to see how many sales you got and what kind of traffic you're getting. So you would put your link right here and just click on save. So when Daniel would um, accept your order, he would automatically have this link to promote because it's in, it's in your ad text. And so you can run traffic to it, 100 clicks. I would imagine you'd get some pretty good opt-ins with this, I have, with this particular landing page. And then again, they'll be directed to this webinar, which is really, really good. And then they'll go on your email list. You can have a good email follow-up series for this particular product, especially if you own the product. You know that you can create videos around the results that you've gotten and send them to your email list and then have the link to this webinar in the, in the body of your email and keep directing people back to this because this converts very, very well and this product is excellent. I've done tons of click pink product reviews and a lot of them are not good, but this one is very good. So I just wanted to show you guys how you can create a landing page for a click pink product in this one that I recommend. So if you guys have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comments below. Again, I'll have a link to the videos that I spoke about as well as a link to click funnels that you can get that. Also, I'll leave a link to Udemy for you to purchase a solo ad if you'd like to do that. Also, if you need to contact me for any reason, I do have my contact information in the description below the video. And if you'd like to learn my number one recommendation for making money online, that'll be the first link in the description below the video. You can check it out if you'd like. With that being said, this is Karen Mara signing off and I'll see you guys in the next video.